everybody, it's Drew with Southern Yankee Innovations, and today I'm going to go over uh, starting up our Master G200. Uh, this is our third year using it. Um, it's a pretty simple startup. I'm just going to go over the startup procedure, and then I'm going to go over kind of a review. This is our third year starting it up. Um, we've had uh, pretty mild winters, but uh, you know, our average electric bill in the summer is a little over $250, and then in the winter it ranges from $90 to $125. When we first got the wood boiler, we didn't have a cover over it, so it got all nasty with all the ash and soot. Um, I've since put covers over it, and it helps keep it cleaner. Um, first thing you want to do is make sure that your water level is good, um, and then I always cap my chimney off over the summer, so pull the cap off. I always just store the cap in the back so that way I don't lose it from year to year. Then I'll take some dry pieces and split them into nice small pieces and get a fire started. Um, and then I'll go ahead and turn on the unit and push the cold start button once everything gets fired up. That'll just keep the blower going for a longer period of time uh, to keep airflow on the fire. boiler comes with a warranty that's really good so I go ahead and do my water sample every year and I just go ahead and do it when I fire it up uh, then I'll send it into the lab and if I need to add any uh, coolant or anything then I'll uh, just resend in another sample as the fire progresses I'll just add a little bit more wood on uh, this stuff's all season it's about two years old some of it's probably pushing three since it's early in the season, I'll go ahead and make sure that the radiant floor in the basement is shut off, otherwise you'll come home and it'll be 80 or 90 degrees upstairs. So all I'll do is I have it so I can easily turn two valves and bypass it. And then the next thing I do is I just check the temperature control unit and make sure that the temperature is starting to increase, and then I'll go back out and check the fire. Uh, now that we've got a pretty good fire going, uh, temperatures increasing, dampener still open, everything seems to be functioning fine. So I let the fire burn for a few hours and I just came out just to double check it, make sure everything's still going well. Uh, wood's starting to cook down and the temperature control unit's reading 162. So my outdoor unit's 120, 130 feet from the house and uh, temperature control unit is after the hot water heater so um, I feel like 15 to 17 degrees is pretty reasonable for the distance it's traveled. <laughs> 